Thorchain is a blockchain protocol built on Cosmos, the so-called Internet of Blockchains, that aims to make all crypto liquid. It seeks to do this by enabling the trading of non-native crypto assets, such as trading Bitcoin for Ethereum, but in a completely decentralized way. In essence, it does much of what Coinbase and Binance do, but without a third party ever taking control of the funds. If you want to learn more about Cosmos, feel free to check out my most recent video where I explain it fully from A to Z. The Thorchain protocol also powers a decentralized exchange, DEX, by the same name. Like Uniswap or SushiSwap, the Thorchain DEX allows anyone to trade or lend their crypto assets by providing liquidity to an asset pool and an exchange, earn a return or yield on those assets. Who, when, and why? Thorchain was built by a mostly anonymous team, conceived in 2018 during a hackathon. The protocol's multi-chain chaos net was finally launched in April 2021, after initial development took place on a few test nets. The broader goal of its team and community is to create decentralized liquidity to eliminate the need for centralized parties, who can have and withheld access to financial products or services from individuals for various reasons. DeFi, as the name suggests, is all about decentralizing access to finance. DeFi is shorthand for a collection of financial products that allows users to borrow, lend, buy, and sell crypto assets without the need for third-party intermediaries. Thorchain, as a DEX, also known as a decentralized exchange, is part of that group of products, and it aims to push the boundaries of decentralized finance even further. Thorchain's team even plans to completely hand over control the network to the community by the summer of 2022. Thorchain uses an adaption of another DEX's lending system, namely Bancor's continuous lending pools, to facilitate trades. In these trades, all assets are deposited in liquidity pools, shared with one other asset which is Thorchain's native token, Rune. Rune is swapped against the other assets in all trades. In a swap for asset A to asset B, the protocol would conduct two trades, swapping A for Rune, then Rune for B. Rune double swapping is what allows for decentralized swapping of assets across chains that are non-custodial. So far, the protocol has worked as intended, and that has helped push Rune to a top 10 spot by market cap among DeFi tokens as of June 2021. Thorchain initially launched with support for assets from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Binance Smart Chain, and Litecoin. Support for the other tokens and assets is continually being added. Thorchain is a proof of stake as opposed to proof of work blockchain, which means it's secured and maintained by node operators who bond and earn Rune. Nodes are computers that validate swaps and create pools for assets and in return get rewards. 100 validator spots are initially available to nodes, but the network can scale to 300 spots. These spots are periodically recycled in a churning, ensuring the network is kept competitive giving operators anonymity, and providing an additional layer of security as nodes cannot capture, control, the network. Nodes must bond at least 1 million rune to be eligible for a validator spot. Rune is currently worth around $6 at the time of producing this video, and it has a market cap of over $1.3 billion. When a swap is made, an asset is sent to a pool or vault's address. A pool address is similar to an email address, except instead of words in a URL pointing to a person, it's a series of digits and letters pointing to a digital wallet. Once two-thirds of nodes confirm the address received the coins, they send the other asset back to the user. Again, swaps are native, so the LTC slash rune vault, for example, has an address to receive LTC. How do liquidity pools work? Like almost every other DEX, Thorchain uses an automated market maker, or AMM, model to generate prices. Prices are generated based on the respective number of each asset held in the pool and kept reflective of external prices, like those on other exchanges by traders. These traders use arbitrage, which is to say they buy assets wherever they're low in price and sell them wherever they're high, causing the prices to converge. Liquidity providers deposit Rune and one other asset to a corresponding liquidity pool. In return for providing liquidity which traders use, they receive part of the fee taken from the trades plus rune rewards. What's more, validating nodes are incentivized to post double the monetary value of the assets held in vaults. Here's why. Fees from trades swing between liquidity providers and nodes. If nodes are underbonded, a higher percentage of fees goes to nodes, encouraging more bonding. The opposite occurs if overbonding occurs. When 67% of all rune in the protocol is bonded and 33% of it is staked, 
Thorchain is in its optimal state. In theory, this over-collateralized system of bonding means corrupt nodes have more to lose than gain when acting dishonestly. Beyond security, the DEX incentives are structured to create ample liquidity, as fees non-custodial yield and DeFi's natural openness ensure trades on Thorchain typically have low slippage, meaning the difference between a quoted price and the actual trade price used. How do you use Thorchain? To use Thorchain, you'll need to access an interface such as ThorSwap. Then follow these steps. 1. Download a wallet compatible with ThorSwap. Support for hardware wallets like Ledger is still under development, but ThorSwap's own key store wallet is already supported. 2. Connect your wallet to the interface. 3. Deposit liquidity or withdrawal assets. 4. Alternatively, users can use a wallet integrated with Thorchain like Shapeshift. So what's the Rune token all about? Rune is Thorchain's native asset. It's used for governance, staking, bonding, rewards, and trading. It's what makes Thorchain work. Rune is traded against other assets in every pool on Thorchain, providing a bridge for assets from different blockchains. Staking Rune also earns users votes on governance proposals and fees from trading, while bonding Rune lets nodes validate transactions and earn new Rune generated for each block. Since incentives push users to bond roughly two times the amount of Rune provided in liquidity pools, and since Rune is also held in each pool, Thorchain's tokenomics are engineered so that Rune's price increases deterministically. According to the team, Rune's price naturally increases as a multiple of any growth in liquidity on the network. Thorchain's tokenomics seems to be working. Rune's price has appreciated roughly 500% year to date with total value locked a metric that roughly measures the number of funds sloshing around within a given DeFi project. On the protocol, hitting as high as $700 million in May 2020. Rune is available on a few different exchanges, including Binance, Uniswap, and FTX. Thorchain has a number of interfaces, which include Asgardex, Thorswap, and Vanaheim. What's next? Thorchain's team believes its protocol of cross-chain swaps is just the beginning. They hope to build a protocol for all of DeFi, offering borrowing, lending, and even synthetic services across various blockchains. In the near term, the team is aiming to add greater wallet support, update the main website, add pools for other assets, including Dogecoin, Zcash, and Monero, and remove protective measures currently live on the network, which will turn the chaos net into the main net. In brief, as the number of users on blockchain networks grows, the need for cross-network liquidity likewise increases. Thorchain is a protocol that aims to meet this need by enabling the trading of crypto assets across various blockchains in a completely decentralized way. Thorchain's suite of cross-chain swap protocols is a small portion of what is building. It plans to design a protocol covering all aspects of DeFi, borrowing, lending, and synthetic services across various blockchains. In the short term, it will add support for Dogecoin, Zcash, and Monero. And in addition, Thorchain's treasury has an adequate funding guaranteeing the protocol's long-term viability. Once the main net goes live in the first quarter of 2022, token demand should increase, which should also lead to gains for Rune holders. How does Thorchain set prices? Instead of using oracles or weighted averages, Thorchain depends on arbitrageurs and its continuous liquidity pool design. If a pool becomes imbalanced, it is rebalanced by the trading of arbitrage bots. Arbitrage bots are computer programs that are programmed to automatically execute buy and sell orders on an exchange based on a trading system. What is the benefit of being a liquidity provider on Thorchain? Liquidity providers can deposit any amount into existing pools or propose new pools to receive a combination of swap fees and rewards from Thorchain's own emissions. The size of the yield earned depends on the proportion of the pool the LP owns, swap volume, size of swaps, change in asset prices, and the incentive pendulum, which balances the amount of capital bonded and pooled in the network by adjusting the amounts of rewards for node operators and liquidity providers. What about Thorchain's price? Thorchain's price is in constant flux and is subject to frequent changes in the market that are mostly driven by volatility. Much like any other cryptocurrency that doesn't have a stable value, rune prices can change dramatically, while being affected by a great number of specific factors. You can follow up with live Thorchain prices on CryptoMat, as well as traditional factors such as market sentiment, the flow of assets on exchanges, and the economy in general, Rune price is also influenced by the amount of tokens locked into the Thorchain network and demand from DEX users. Who are some notable Thorchain backers and investors? Thorchain has several notable backers and holders of the Rune token, 
Thorchain's native token. Multicoin Capital is perhaps the most prominent enterprise to announce its investment in Rune. Founded in 2017, Multicoin Capital specifically focuses on blockchain companies, cryptocurrencies, and tokens. Rune is one of the largest public positions for the company. After Multicoin Capital announced it had accumulated a large portion of the asset, Rune's price jumped by 30%. Rune traded at $3.90 before the announcement and soon after soared to $5.61. Alongside their announcement, they shared a research report in which they outlined the potential that this project had, and how they are excited about the ability to trade tokens between different blockchains. Overall, Thorchain seems like a promising long-term investment. What are your thoughts on Rune? Do you own any? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.